and welcome in this tutorial we are going to be doing the blob np counts now np stands for non proper noun and this is something we've essentially already done except this time around it's going to be done for us now this was still a very very worthy exercise in coding because you learned how to use dictionaries and we learned how to rank dictionaries and this is a very very important coding problem and we're even going to have an opportunity to use some of it in this example but just to reiterate what this function is going to do is when you type in blob np counts it will take the blob and it will count how many times each non-proper noun repeats the non-proper nouns are bobby jennifer and jakarta and they all repeat once so we can indeed um print this dictionary and then we can try to rank it so we can print blob dot np underscore counts and what you're gonna see is an unordered dictionary and all the words inside here and how many times they repeat not all the words all the capitalized words now it has its quirks as you can see great field was capitalized but everything here is lowercase aristotle was obviously uppercase macedon and olympias all of these but these were the, the the capitalized words and as you can see some of them it's not exactly uh perfect because some of them like character that that is probably like the first word in a sentence addition is the first word in a sentence it is not like text blob intelligently distinguishes between real non-proper nouns and sort of first words in the sentence so like ours it's an approximation my guess is it is a better approximation i mean the guy that built this is, is pretty awesome so what i want to try to do now is actually see i'm gonna call this dictionary and i want to see if the type print type dictionary if it's just going to say dictionary or if it's actually going to be a blob dictionary sort of a special kind of dictionary collections default dictionary interesting and what if we just said dig dictionary equals to dict yes so right now i think i'm just going to convert it to a standard python dictionary i bet it's going to work it's just going to say type it's going to say class dict so we can try it with and without it i'll actually do it without it and then we can bring in our old um word rank algorithm and right at the bottom here we create a ranked list and then we sort of go through that ranked list and print out how many times uh you know the value for each key repeats so if i literally copy and paste this that should give us what we want essentially the function gives us the first part the ranking is what we already did and we can add to this so let's see if we're gonna get a ranking of words expect alexander to come on top alexander and if you see like alexander's is also here you can kind of see that it didn't do the removal of um punctuation so let's have a think what can we do to improve it i guess we could uh key dot capitalize think americans go with the z i don't know hopefully 
this is going to make them all capitalized. And as you can see, whether I convert it to dictionary or not, it just doesn't matter. So all of these ob blob dictionary objects or blob list objects, you don't have to convert them to dictionaries and lists. Python treats them all the same. So this should have it printed. Hmm. Capitalize. Ah, yeah, of course. Let's try that again. So the non proper nouns, however, can be two words in here. Father's court. That was the would have all been capitalized. Ancient battles, muscular force. So instead of capitalize, I think this should have been dot title. This will ultimately make every word capitalized, and that's that's sort of the way it looks in the book. Which yes. So that is awesome. So this is a function we'll definitely use eventually when we get to it, we'll look to improve it with some um, stripping of punctuation. But that's all for now. Let's move on to our next textbook.